More blood is on the hands of radical district attorneys. Los Angeles DA George Gascon under fire after a career criminal and known gang member he let off the hook slaughtered two LAPD officers. Harrowing security camera footage capturing the moment these two cops were ambushed while responding to a woman being stabbed at a hotel. The suspect who died after a shootout with police had a rap sheet about a mile long. His girlfriend accused him of assault just a day before the shooting. He served two stints in prison and last year was facing a third for possessing a firearm as a felon that could have put him behind bars for three years. But George Gascon let him slide easy on the last charge, giving him a 20-day jail sentence and put him on probation. Gascon defending the move, saying the slap on the wrist was, quote, consistent with case resolutions for this type of offense, given his criminal history and the nature of the offense. It's not consistent, Judge. This guy's like, he's beating his wife. He's, he's, no, he's got it, an illegal gun. It's consistent with his policy. Yeah, his. Which is, it doesn't matter how violent you are. It doesn't matter what your record it is. It doesn't matter if you're a threat to society. We're going to let you loose because we believe in racial justice. We don't give a damn about the victims. Our job is to make sure that the criminals get out. You know what? Recall is too good for this guy, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Recall is not enough. This guy should be prosecuted. I don't know what for, but <laughs> what he isn't, the blood of those police officers is on his hands. But for his handling the case the way he did, this dirtbag who's now dead, the gang member, would have been in prison and wouldn't have had the opportunity to kill those cops. Mm. What we're seeing across this country and with this administration is a decision by the people in power of what crimes they want to prosecute and what crimes they won't prosecute. There is a real segregation here. And I'm not talking color. I'm talking about the right and the left. If they think that someone should be forgiven for everything he's done, irrespective of the, of the violence that has, has occurred to another individual, they don't care about it. They don't care that violence begets violence. There is a ripple effect every time one human being injures another. It's like you toss a, you toss a stone in a pond, and it just goes ripple to ripple to ripple. It just gets bigger and bigger. That's what's happening in our society with these DAs who have no right being DAs. They should all be removed immediately. Do you remember a couple years ago when some of the NYPD officers turned their back on Bill de Blasio? Mm -hmm. You're probably pretty close to seeing LAPD officers doing something similar, taking a stand against the DA out there. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's all about kind of the contract you have with government or society. How can victims' families not be able to sue the city? You pay taxes What's the taxes for? That's the relationship you make with the government. I mean, what if you don't uphold your deal and you don't pay taxes? Mm. You're going to go to jail longer than 20 days. Yep. But what if they don't uphold their side of the deal? You could get shot. You can get killed. Not, prov not providing safety and security. There needs to be some kind of consequences for Gascon because the people who make these decisions get away with it. No, he's not going to get shot by a gangbanger. He doesn't live in the neighborhood. And hell, that guy probably has his face, his ta name tattooed on his face, you know? So he'll never run into the violence that he unleashes. It would be nice maybe to force these DAs to live in the neighborhoods where they release these guys so they can play a, play a role in Gascon's catch and release fantasies. This is no wonder that the, the networks are running on January 6th because you have two vital interests right now crime and economy, the Dems are lost on both. That's why they're using January 6th right now. Instead, what they're trying to say is, sure, you're getting murdered. You're ba you, there's no baby formula. The cops are getting killed, but democracy's in peril. <laughs> and if they're not watching it on the networks, because not everybody watches network TV, they're definitely seeing this on the local news. Right. In Los Angeles, in Philly, in New York, they lead with crime all the time. Yeah, it is the A number one story. Like, you know, the, the first 10 minutes of every local broadcast. Is crime. That's in, in Denver included. My mom was just telling me that. I also wonder about where is AOC on the, there's a war on women. Yeah. This woman who is dating the guy, she gets ass assaulted. She has the courage to call the cops on him and they do nothing. And as you know, having started the first domestic violence unit for a DA, it's not easy for women to make those calls and to then to be ignored. And it, 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 uh, to the ripple effect, 
If it wasn't going to be the cops, it was probably going to be her, and she knew it. And these women's groups do nothing to, help, to protect these guys. Oh, yeah. And the DAs, they ought to be paying attention to that because there's... You, you, I would, it would be interesting to look and see how many of these guys that are let off come back to hurt their girlfriends or their oh, yeah. wives. And it's, like, it's over and over again, or they kill the children. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is Bill Malusian, our reporter who is... He's at the border now, but he's based in Los Angeles. He said that under Gascon's policies... He said when he came into office that the office of the government, the office of the, the, his office, would pay for the funeral expenses for anyone who was killed by a cop. And that could include this guy. And unless Gascon comes out and says it's not going to happen. We had a woman on today. That's the, she's leading the effort to get the signatures to put Gascon's recall to, in place. They need about 100,000 more signatures. I can't imagine that they wouldn't be able to get them. So what do you think about the conversation of consequences, not just recall, you know, people wanting more than that kind of accountability? Do you think there's any option for people that want more than just a recall here with this DA and people putting lives at stake? I'm glad, glad to be back around the table. Two, two things I'd say. One, to Dana's point, that, that group, first of all, I hope Gascon is recalled. Uh, you're elected to be a DA to prosecute and put people behind bars who commit violent acts, not to coddle them. Uh, I think voters in Los Angeles have a, a vested interest in this guy uh, in, 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 in Los Angeles, so we won't, we won't go through it. But I, I hope that if this is what voters want, and we see this from the outside here in New York, I hope that's what voters get. To Dana's point, they say they have 650,000 signatures. They need five, 567,000. And I think they're aiming for even more because they think some may be invalidated as they yeah. go through this signature verification process. Um, uh, Voters around the country, I don't view this as a racial issue at all. I think this is just a fundamental American issue. Um, you can't go to work. You can't go to church. You can't go to school. You don't feel confident dropping people off to do those things if you don't have a fundamental understanding and confidence that people are going to be secure. I don't care if the crime is being committed by whatever racial group. It could be white, black, Hispanic, Asian, whatever it may be. If you, get, if you get shot or you're mugged or you're harmed or you're kids, you get a call, you don't ask, was it a black person? Was it a white person? Was it an Hispanic person? If, if someone calls from my child's school or my children's school and said something is wrong, I'm going to rush to my child. I want to know if indeed there's someone there to protect them. So the biggest thing that's happened in the last few weeks is the recall of this San Francisco prosecutor. The message to Democrats, Republicans, and anyone that is not serious about prosecuting criminals, if you want a job in public life prosecuting criminals, you know what you should do, Jesse? You should prosecute criminals. That's right. You should put them behind bars, and you should not let them out if they have a pro the propensity to engage in violent acts. Well, period. The first recall against Gascon failed. Yeah. Okay, well, so they're thing. doing it the second time. Hopefully they learn from Chessa Boudin And they're trying with Krasner again, but he just yep. got reelected with like 70% of the vote. Mm -hmm. It would help if the president of the United States would yes. actually ah. address these radical DAs and tell them to knock it off, but he hasn't done that. Yet. Up next, a radical abortion group declares open season on pro-lifers while President Biden and Democrats do nothing.